you see, Mondays don't have to be that depressing, as that this group of buffalo have decided to have a spa day. And uh, they are looking very, very comfortable in one of the drains next to the road. Good afternoon. My name is Brent Yersmith. I have Dangerous Dave Eastall on camera. And we're in the marvellous Mara. Hashtag Safari Live uh, if you want to ask us any questions. And have a look at that one to the right who's completely covered in mud from tip of the horn uh, all the way to the tip of its nose. So a little breeding breeding group here. And they found a lovely little muddy wallow in which to spend their time. And we do have a few ox. Oh, look at that. A wattled starling sitting on top of that buffalo. That one. That's correct, Dave. Look, Dave's learning birds. Here we go. A wattled starling using a buffalo as a perch. Oh, and there's an ox pecker popping up next to it. It's a juvenile. Oh, disappeared. Now you can see that wattled starling's mouth is open. And it is quite warm out in the sun there. And when you see birds doing, doing that, it's called a gula flutter. Now what that means is it's bringing air quickly over its tongue to help cool it down. Now let's have a look what oxpecker species we have. There's an oxpecker sitting on the horn there. So yellow-billed oxpeckers are far more common in the Mara. But I'm hoping that we can add a red-billed soon to our bird, Mara bird list. Oh, I can't really see. Is that a yellow bill? I thought I saw a flash of yellow, Dave. Yes, and unfortunately not a red bulled ox pecker. Not yet, anyway. So our plan for this marvellous evening is to trundle down towards the Mara River, right in the north northern corner of the Mara Triangle. And there's some lovely little roads through the riverine forest there. And we're hoping we might find a doa doa a jew. A doa doa a jew. What is that? Well, that is the, the lingo in this area for... A spot spot up, which is of course a leopard. So we're going to try to see if we can find a leopard around the Mara River. Uh, there were some lions. I know Dave saw them from the balloon. We're going to see if he can find them from the ground. Let's test Dave's aerial tracking skills. Is that very? Oh, a yellow billed oxpecker landed there into the air. Now. Often when oxpeckers go into an animal's ear, people assume they are removing ticks, which they do do, but they also have the ability to digest earwax. They have special enzymes and enable them to break down earwax into something nutritious. Dave, would you like buffalo earwax for breakfast? Or afternoon tea, rather? Maybe not. No, I agree with you. Let's move on. No buffalo earwax for us.